you doing? This is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today I got something unique, interesting, new, and cool. This is corn vermicelli from Indonesia uh, by Urai, which is a brand of arranged by Bo Borong Dara, which is part of a bigger company called uh, Suprama. So we're gonna try that out today. And this is something completely new and different. I think it's interesting, folks, and it's not bad at all. Woo. It's not what you would expect, but we're gonna use their noodle, plus we're gonna use seasoning. This is a... Uh, Ayam bawang, so it's uh, onion chicken. And here is one of the noodle blocks. Look at that. So it's like that corn vermicelli. I'm gonna throw that in the wawa. Come on. Hey, come on. Go in there, do what you're supposed to do. But yeah, it's saying two minutes on this. We need to find a spot. I'm running out of spots. And uh, that's what I'm going to go for here. And into the water. Whoa. One thing about this stuff is it's very jumpy. Jumpy by me, meaning the little bits of it fly everywhere. It means business on that side of things. Let's stir it around a little bit. But yeah, for me, it is Friday, January 6th. Yeah. Friday, January the 6th, 2023. Everybody knows January 6th was a pretty kooky day a couple years ago. It seems to be pretty quiet, except for the House of Representatives where nobody can get stuff done because nobody's been sworn in. And yeah, it's, it's just a bunch of silly, silly. Are they voting again? I don't think so. They're all like hanging out and trying to get committee assignments. <laughs> so it's working with us. The noodle will be doodling. Hopefully, I used enough. It's kind of hard to tell because well, it's not really all that hard to tell. I think it's going to work out. I think we're good. I think we're good. Wow, it's 11 in the morning already. I should be out walking around and doing junk, but I just kind of like hung back and just felt like chilling out. And waking on this stuff. So that's what's going on. And four, three, two, one. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so here is our noodle and the liquid. Uh, I feel like I need to remove some noodles so there will be a good ratio. Look at all that. Wow. Yeah, that's too much. I didn't, I didn't put enough water in there. That's okay. That's okay. Let's redistribute the water. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on. Get, get in there. We're, we're trying to give you the best presentation we can, Noodle. God, you're just not cooperating, are you? Where's my scissors? Kitchen scissors, I swear, the best invention in the world. Also known just simply as scissors. I really like these things. 
we just every once in a while we'll just get a bunch of pairs of scissors and dis decide that they are the current kitchen scissors just need a little bit less yeah so one of those big things makes a lot of noodle oh come on <laughs> we have a noodle bridge ladies and gentlemen Okay, that's a little more manageable. And we're gonna use a little bit of this, not too much. The last time I used this, I put too much of this in here too. This stuff is not meant really, I don't think, for doing single servings. I think it's made mostly for like making a big amount of soup. So, let's see how that goes. I think I might need to just add a little more water to this because it's still a lot of noodle in here. And the texture of these are interesting too. So let me give this a try and try to describe what's going on here. It's still really hot. Very, very thin, fine noodle. Mmm. Yeah, maybe a touch more water. Um, it's good. I like it. I liked it the last time I had. But I think this one is a different... A bit of a different texture. That's the amount of water we need. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's start putting this sucker together. Oh, I should have the broth too. It's broth time. There's the broth. Nice. A little bit sweet, which I didn't really expect usually, but I do like the sweetness of it. It's like a sweet onion chicken flavor. All right. This is the last one I'm doing today. So this one actually has the most stuff to work with. I'm going to use this bowl for the first time. This came by way of my sister-in-law. Thank you very much. Actually, the last video I did... That was from her as well, many moons ago. All right, like that. How are we looking? Isn't that a cool design? Little beads on it. I like little beads. Beads are fun. Okay, now let's see if I can do the fold over thing with this stuff. It's a tricky ratio. I've made me garang with this, and I think that came out even better. So there's that. Um, I do have an egg, and I actually, well, as far as I know, I hard boiled it. I'm so used to soft boiling eggs. But I thought. You know, they don't do as much hard boiled or soft boiled. When you get to Indonesia and Malaysia and places like that, they're more just hard boiled. This is a little less soft. <laughs> a little. There's our egg. And I fried up some chicken. Crushed red pepper. Um, I 
gonna do some fried onion. fried onion isn't working right. Oh well. And then a little bit of coriander, I believe, and that should do the trick. But yeah, what do you think of that? Corn vermicelli. Do the rotato thing and that caps off my week. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. I think I did eight reviews this week. Eight, nine? I don't know. Who's counting? Bye.